Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be uh, installing a shelf on the bottom of a chair I recently stripped the paint off of and repainting that chair. Unfortunately, while I was recording the first day's work, I was working with some new audio equipment and the audio failed. So the first part of the video will have a voiceover. Hopefully it works out. I guess we'll get started. Hopefully I don't fuck this up. I'm telling you about a three quarter inch of piece of plywood that I had kicking around from previous projects. It's just the right size for the shelf I want to make for the bottom of this chair. I'm just going to have to trim a little of it off. These are the tools I'm going to be using for today's project. A tape measure, a square, and a jigsaw. Before I get started on this chair, I'm going to have to measure the distance between the rails that I plan to secure the shelf to. Always make sure you're wearing safety glasses. I was having some difficulty placing the shelf, so I went ahead and remeasured. When I did that, I figured out that the back of the chair goes at a bit of an angle, so I measured and marked it off and then recut to reflect the angle. Then I went ahead and sanded down the fresh cut, and voila, it fit. Next, I just had to cut a bit of the front off so it was the right length and doesn't hang over any further than the seat. Following that, I just have to sand down the shelf. Don't forget to wear your PPE. I'll just be swapping out the old sandpaper for a new piece of 80 grit. Before I attach the shelf, I want to just check the loose rail on the bottom of the chair and it looks like I'm going to have to glue it. These were my glue choices for the project and I chose the Gorilla Wood glue. Once I have a sufficient amount of glue in place, I'm going to clamp it and leave it until tomorrow to dry. The glue is sufficiently dry, and now I'm going to put the shelf on the bottom of the high back chair, and I'm going to paint it. But first, I'm going to get it ready to have uh, to recushion, and so I'm going to attempt to take the seat off of the chair. So let's get started. It looks like it's a bit loose, so this shouldn't be too difficult to take off, but I do have to be careful because I have no idea where this seat is attached on this frame. Oh, that was way easier than uh, I had anticipated. All right, so it looks like that seat was secured with three screws at an angle. Some screws, screw here, screw in the center, screw at the end. Um, then back here, another screw area, another screw. Another... All right. Eye protection. Next, we're just gonna pre drill, uh, or yeah, pre drill the uh, screws in here. Get them all in place so it's easier once we place the board. Okay. 
Now that that's done, I'm gonna put a drop cloth down so I can stop spilling things on my floor like I did with that glue that I used uh, the other day. And then we'll get to painting. Um, the first thing I'll do is just wipe it down and get um, uh, the dust off. And then, and then I'll get to painting. Just to protect myself, I'm going to cover the tips of these screws with a little painter's tape. Just to make sure that I stay aware that there's sharp bits about. Today I'm going to be using a two inch angle brush and then I'm gonna go with the Dutch Boy DuraClean just white base A. This looks like it's a painter and a primer, so I just had to buy one and it's flat because I don't like my furniture to be shiny. All right, let's go. Make sure you shake or stir your paint before use. I'm gonna be using an old glass jam jar so that if there's, if I end up using too much or pouring too much, then I can just close it up and, uh, and save the rest for later so that I don't waste. So I'm gonna let that first coat dry a bit, and while it's drying, I'm gonna make sure to cover my uh, paintbrush in some saran wrap or a plastic baggie so it doesn't dry out so that I don't have to clean it in between coats. So I think I'm gonna let that uh, sit for maybe a half hour and then come back to it because it took me a while to do the first coat, so where I started should just be about dry by now. Um, all right, I'll be back. That's going to dry for about another half hour and then I'm gonna get started on the final coat. The next step of this project is going to be upholstering the seat and possibly um, adding some color to the back of the chair. Thank you for watching my video today. Please share, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and have a great day.